Alrighty, here and welcome to Nev's Gaming. Today we are starting our episode off in the industrial district. Correct, Demundo. We are starting off here. Why? Because last episode we built this mons. Well, you haven't seen the storage system, but we built this monstrosity of. <laughs> yeah, let's say bone meal slash seed gathering slash mushroom gathering slash everything roots flower farm. All that good stuff, seeds. We built this, and then on stream, I built uh, this storage system for everything to get linked up. To linked up to it, if we have a look down here, we've got uh, some wart roots in the first one, some wart fungus, crimson roots, that should be crimson fungus. Then we've got seeds entering this one. And then each one of these is going to be a different flower. Because we're going to have flower pods. We're going to, not just the single flowers, no, we're going to have dual flowers. We've got poppies in there, you know, daisies, we've got alliums, uh, blue orchids, all these ones that we've collected so far. Wait, is that two blue orchids? Why have we got two? Hmm, interesting. Uh, just do a hop skip jump. Where's that blue orchid one? In you go there. There you go. Um, ooh. Ooh. The system may... Eh, we'll figure that out as it comes along. Anyway, uh, where are you, blue? There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. And it gets collected all through here. Absolutely amazing bit of piece of kit and equipment, but I want single flower pods which I'm going to situate over that side and then my plan for this episode, this side, is to have a moss farm next to it so we have everything in line going into our storage system. I'm going to increase this all the way along as far as we can go up into our, uh, what's that called? No, uh, ah, our food farm, our food farm, our sheep, pigs, Get ours all along here so we can collect all the items and change what we need to into bone meal to power the farm itself. But to do that, I've had to create another machine, another monstrosity as such. Hidden in the back here, I've decided this is where we're going to make all our blocks and items such as cobblestone, stone and stone generator. I'm going to situate behind our sheep farm. If we go over here, this is what it is, or is what I've created so far. We put dirt in here. In fact, let me go get some dirt. Here I am, back with some dirt in my hand. If we take a look at how this machine works now, it is quite simple. We place a bit of that, a uh, piece of dirt there, a, uh, what are they called, water bottle then gets fired into the dirt and makes it into a dirt block. Now, if we keep pushing along, it'll push... Keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing to the end. Hopefully this one will hit the redstone. No, this one. There we go. And it'll get pushed forward so we can put another line in at the front there. You're thinking, why haven't I made more space? Because this isn't enough space for me. But that isn't the gist of it. Why have we got all this, all this gubbins underneath? Well, if you look at the top there, you can see that water bottles are actually recycling itself. So what will happen is, once we'll do this really fast, get rid of this. Oh, too fast there. We'll get rid of this stack and I will show you the process in which the water bottles are recycled. Can you see at the top there? The water bottles are getting refilled, recycled, shot back up into the system. Fan dabby dozy. Look at that. Easy, nice and simple. Well, that's the stack done. And they get recycled and put back in. And I've got a constant flow. Now, it looks quite big. There is probably small designs, but I didn't want to do smaller designs. No. It's a factory district. I wanted to make it look big and complicated, which it kind of is. But <laughs> if we go down here, uh, the um, empty water bottles will get deposited in here thanks to an item filter. As you can see, that's all full of n um, normal water bottles. They will then go through this hopper line, through this hopper line, into this automatic refiller once they have been uh, once the automatic well once they have been dispensed thanks to this automatic cutoff uh, they will then get dispensed through this hopper line into this 
into this uh, water elevator we have hidden in the stairways, the stores. They will then get pushed all the way up through here, back into the system just to recycle itself. Now I don't have to. I only have to make sure I've got one full chest, uh, maybe a bit of a uh, few hoppers overflow as well, full of water bottles in order to make the water farm there, uh, in order to make the mud farm work. And how do we collect it? Nice and simple. We get our shovel, and we just go along and harvest it. Look at that. And we get all this lovely mud. I will be putting stone around there so I don't harvest the area at a later date. But we don't need to do that now. Woo! Now, why have we got all this mud? Well, mud, of course, isn't a full block. It is actually smaller than a full block. If we go and do F5, we should see ourselves, our feet are currently in the mud. That means we are shorter than the actual block. That means we can stick a hopper underneath this mud block which we can collect all our flowers from when we bone meal it in the little pods whether that be two or whether that be uh, too high or whether that be just a single one no nice and simple easy we'll just do four pods of uh, two high flowers and then we'll do one pod which we can alternate the flower Woo! that was a lot to get through i do hope you stuck with me right i'm gonna do these pods and then we'll move on to the bone meal farm slash moss farm all the resources now have been gathered uh, i suppose we better uh, start building it <laughs> we've done it we've completed it the moss farm is complete yes i've got four buckets in my inventory for good reason with oh my god just look at this monstrosity behind me all for some moss and bone meal but it works so goddamn well right let's have a quick look if we turn this on those are stone generators here. Double will push everything, all the stone into the middle for fresh stone to be uh, bone well turned into moss thanks to a moss block. That will all get grabbed by minecarts which go under here. Where's the moss block? The moss block is under here. If we go up, we've got minecarts collecting all the moss from underneath. We're getting pushed out. Let's go around. Lots and lots of, lots of things happening. If we keep going round, 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 round. Here you'll see the bone meal getting regen, um, well, not regenerated, but getting put back into the system here. Quite a fast rate, to be fair. And we've got a small collection happening here because we don't need a lot. We really, really don't. So I've used the end, uh, the end to farm. So I mean, even now, I mean, we're still going to get quite a bit. If we move over here, we've got bone meal for our farms happening as well. So it's replenishing itself. And we're collecting, <laughs> we're just collecting so goddamn much. I'm the end, uh, I understand the end ones won't, but hey, oh, what can I say? A self regenerating bone mealing moss farm. Oh, absolutely amazing! And it is really quick. I had to turn, um, that, uh, well, basically, I had to turn it into, uh, uh what they called. Uh, hoppers so in order to get the bone meal oh i just love how it works i just love how it works right i'm gonna end the episode here before we before the sun sets we've achieved a lot we've got our flowers all in line we've got a bone meal farm in order and now the sun is setting on this bright and wonderful day i think it's about time we start hunting for some wings don't you think but that'll have to wait till the next episode this episode is over, so I'm going to say toodaloo. No, I'm going to say I've been Nevs Gaming, you've been amazing, toodaloo, and I'll see you, you beautiful people in a few. Goodbye. God, it's getting dark. I need to go sleep.